Danny Rodriguez was sitting outside his house in Jupiter, Florida with a friend at about 2.30 in the morning when something flew over their heads. They watched it pass over Danny's house towards the backyard. Danny later reported details to a cryptozoologist. Quote, it was a beige brownish color with pointed wingtips, no feathers, pointed beak, and what made me think pterosaur was that long pointed thing protruding from the back of its head. I live in Florida, so I've seen my share of cranes and whatnot, but this was not a bird. A second later, something made us look across the street where we saw a second one flying over a house, flying down into that house's backyard. The first creature was only about four feet wingspan. It was a lot smaller than I would think a pterodactyl would be. As soon as we saw the second one across the street, we immediately looked at each other and just shook our heads. And I said, was that what I think it was? And he said, nah, it had to be something else. Unquote. How can pterodactyls be flying over Los Angeles in the 21st century and feasting on raccoons and house cats in storm channels? Does it sound crazy? I'm Jonathan Whitcomb and some persons think I am crazy, or at least badly mistaken. Over the past 20 years, I've gotten hundreds of reports from around the world, mostly from people who've seen apparent living pterosaurs what some call pterodactyls or dragons or flying dinosaurs. Some reports come from the United States, including accounts of strange flying creatures in Los Angeles. On June 19, 2012, a lady was in her backyard in Lakewood, California, when she heard a strange noise. She walked over to her dog, which was barking, then looked up to see what she later called a dragon pterodactyl. This was in clear daylight as the creature was perched on a phone line over her head. The end of its tail was only about 18 feet from the end of the lady's nose. Quote, when he saw me, he jumped off the telephone wires and when he opened his huge wings, they sounded like heavy fabric. I watched him fly across to a large tree and go inside. I saw him very closely and know what I saw. The picture someone drew from Georgia looks just like him. He had that triangle on his tail like a dragon. Thank you for coming. I'm Jonathan Whitcomb. Sightings today, we're going to be involved with uh, British Columbia, a little bit of Quebec. Let's begin with um, Alberta, Canada. This person said, I had a sighting in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada last night. Now this is from the year 2015. That's not literally last night. In 2015, I had never heard of any of this before, and after doing a bunch of online research, I found the term ropen. And then living pterosaur, and that has to be what I saw. I have so many questions about this creature. Let's get into it a little bit. I had a sighting last night. It was in my backyard with my children. Uh, this person is an avid bird watcher. Quote, so I keep my eyes on the sky a lot. I looked up to see a creature just slowly flying over the strip mall directly behind my house. I was so stunned, I shouted, what the hell is that? It had double the wingspan of a seagull, was dark gray, long and skinny with a spade shape on the end. The end of the tail had some kind of structure. Which is, I see that, I get that all over the world. So common. So common, long tail with some kind of structure at the end of the tail. My associates and I believe that the, these um, tails are, are indicate a ramphorinquid like or something like that uh, modern pterosaur. Maybe only a quote, or maybe only a bit larger than a crow with longer wings. The visibility was good and it was only flying a bit higher than the power line, so two or three stories in the air. Uh, this is. Uh, email sent to me in 2018 and I was delighted to get this. Hello, I'm writing from Vancouver Island, British Columbia, Canada. In 2010, I saw a pterosaur fly over the field while looking out my window at dawn. It was huge. I guess it was over 13 feet long. It had a long, thin tail with a club at the end and leathery looking grayish skin. Again, this is 
what my associates and I call a uh, ropen, a uh, long-tailed uh, pterodactyl, modern pterosaur. We believe these are modern pterosaurs. That's what we believe. I can still see it in my mind's eye and think of it often. Recently, and I'm quoting, recently I was thinking about it, I thought its skin was very bat-like. But then I realized why don't why people don't see them more often. I believe that they are nocturnal, and that person is correct. The eyewitnesses is right. Yeah, they're basically nocturnal, like bats, yeah. Well, the one I saw must have been late getting home, and that is why I was able to see it. It was flying west over the farm I lived on towards Mount Prevost, P-R-E-V-O-S-T, 